Now we've made the main structure of the Whara Nui, it's now time for us to make the Ano. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one half of this object and then combine the two together. So again, just using a cube. This time I'm going to change the colour so we can just differentiate and make it easy to see. So this time I'm going to, again, I'm probably going to make this 10 wide and I'm going to make this probably 2.5 deep, it doesn't need to be very deep at all and I need to make sure it's the same height so I'm going to just push this to here I can I make that 35 tall, let's get this out of the way I think I made it 35, let's go 35 oh, it must have been 25 yep, 25, so there's, there's my Arno and I just want to make sure it's the right scale so maybe I'll make this 15 so let's just make sure I'm changing the right dimension so I'm going to click on 15 oh no make it seven and a half then I don't want it too wide 7.5 that'll do us so we're trying to keep the scale and proportion right and now I'm going to just move this to here and so I'm going to copy it now because I'm going to use that to make the mahi so I'm going to copy here, copy paste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 60 tall and you'll see why in a minute. And I don't want to make some modifications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this semicircular prism out here. And the first thing I want to do is slip it through 180 degrees. There we go. And it doesn't matter how big it is. Let's make this 30 and I'm going to make this to keep the proportions the same. I need to make that 15 because that's half the diameter. That's good. And again, like I've done before, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make this smaller. So we made that. We made that 30, so I'm going to make this 20. And I'm going to make this one here 10. And I want this to be the same height as this one. So I'm going to um, lift this one off the ground. So how tall is this one? Let's remind ourselves it's 15. And this one here is 10. So we need to raise it 5 off the ground. So click on here, 5. That's good. Now we're going to highlight those together. Oh, let's make this one into a hole first of all. So click on here. We're going to then combine these two together, align them up, and we're going to center. Yep, that's all I want, just like that. And then I'm going to cut them out. Gone. So I'm going to use this tool now as a as a block. So I'm going to center these two together. Use the alignment tool. Don't make life difficult for yourself. Just make sure they're all centered up. And let's just organize ourselves so we can zoom in. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a nice shape at the bottom of our mahi here or at the side at the end. So unclick that, select them, and I'm going to lift this one off the ground a little bit because I want to make sure that the cut happens all the way through my board here. So they're now both selected, and no, they're not. Let's select them. They're both selected now, and I'm going to cut them out. And so now I've got this option here, this nice rounded board. So now I want to align these together. So let's just click on align and I want them to be centered and I'm going to just put them in the front. Let's just make sure that they're aligned on top. No, they're not. So we want to align them. There, I want them aligned at the back. That's all I need for the moment. And I need to come to the front. So just click on front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deselect this 
and I'm going to just make sure I can see what I'm doing. I want to make sure that the angles are the same. So I'm going to click on this one here and I'm going to make sure I'm clicking on the right plane and I'm just going to try and get the, the angle of the roof the same as the angle of the mahi. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's see if we can't organize these together. So I'm just going to move these across like that. And again, I'm going to use my alignment tool. So no, they're not close together at all. So I want them to be aligned. So again, use the alignment tool. I want to center them with each other. And I'm just using the, all the tools I'm using. So this is looking like it's kind of going to be the right shape. Obviously, it's not attached to the Faranui yet at all but it's kind of got the right proportions of what I want. But I want to get a nice mitered angle at the top of this. So I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to uh, combine these together. So I'm just gonna make them into one object. So I've now got one object, uh, which is gonna make life easier for me. And now I'm going to use the top of the block here to, I'm going to use this block here. I'm going to make that into a hole straight away. And I'm not really going to make uh, too much of a effort to align these up. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to lift this off the ground. And what I'm trying to do with this shadow is just move it so it's nearly to the point of the top of the if you just zoom in a bit more, you can see what I mean. I'm, try I'm trying to not do that. I'm trying to make sure that the mitered point is just over the peak like that, it's fine. I need to make sure that I'm not actually cutting into any of the rest of my model. So I only need to come to there, for example, too far this way. So let's just come that way and move it back a bit more. That'll do. And then combine those two. And then I'm going to combine or group, cut those out. Obviously I wasn't far enough in, so let's just, yeah, I was too close. So I need to just bring that across like that and combine them and then cut. And what that's done is it's given me a nice joint here. So what I'm gonna do now is let's just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to copy that. So, and I'm going to use the flip function here. Now you can see which way do I want to flick it. You can see that's where I want to go there. Flick it this way. I can now move them so they're together. Let's make sure that they're aligned together. So click on the align tool. Make sure they're aligned. Yes, they are. Zoom in. And not quite together. So let's just select them again and see if we can't center them perfectly. And use the align tool. Again, use all the best tools that you've got. No, we don't want that function there. So we're going to have to nudge it. Too far, that'll do. And again, just make sure everything's aligned up. Use this function to align them together perfect and then group them and now we have the front of our Faranui with this looking like this and now we can move this back and we can make it touch and then again using our alignment tools we can select both objects and then we can use our alignment tools and make sure they're both in the middle. And we now have our Faranui with the main object. So we can look at that. I think you're gonna meet all your criteria by building that. Obviously you can add more details to that, but that's the start of the creating of your Faranui using the align tools of um, align, flip, and group.